some people go through major life changes sometimes they tend to go a little bit wild me I go on adventures the Smoky Mountains when arriving from the north you can't help but feel excitement as you enter Sevier County and see that unmistakable silhouette dominating the landscape, Mount LeCon. While it is the sixth highest mountain east of Mississippi at 6,593 feet, it also has the tallest face of all mountains in the entire Appalachian Range, rising over 5,300 feet from its base near Gatlinburg. And I came to climb it. While most people day hiking to the summit of Mount LeCant take Alum Cave Trail because it's the shortest route, I've never been known to take the easy way. I was heading up Trillium Gap Trail to the summit, then returning on Rainbow Falls Trail for a full loop of nearly 16 miles with an elevation gain over 4,000 feet, not counting whatever exploring I was going to do along the way. Well folks, I did it back in the Great Smoky Mountains. My first time down here in four years. It's about 7 a.m. The sun is just starting to crack above the mountain line. sunrise starting to see some of the fall colors popping out I absolutely love getting out on the trail first thing in the morning before anybody else gets here you have it all to yourself and the Smoky Mountains being the busiest or most visited national park in America it's saying something when you can get a trail all to yourself favorite thing in Smoky Mountains are the rivers and streams. These are the most beautiful streams I've ever seen. Love this stuff. Taking you with me, people. Might be solo hiking. So you're on the adventure with me. All right, here we go. I don't think the squirrel likes me in his territory. So, most people are aware that the trail system here at the Great Smoky Mountains, I want to say there's something like 800 miles of trails. Most were all cut and carved by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the early 1930s. And uh, realistically, they are responsible for pretty much all of our national parks, state parks, and pretty much all the things that make America great. A little bit of history about the Civilian Conservation Corps. 
here on this particular trail, the Trillium Gap Trail. Uh, when the park opened, I believe in 1934, they uh, recommissioned the CCC to come back and redo this trail. And what they wanted was to make it wider so that the horses and llamas could travel it to get up to the Lacant Lodge with supplies. So the CCC had to do this trail twice. Kudos to them. And realistically, back in the 1930s, they were just happy to have a job. Be pretty nice though, to have a job with this kind of view. So right now, we are at the official Trillium Gap, for which this trail is named. Take a left, and we'll be going on Brushy Mountain. Go straight, Borders Creek, Greenbrier, and go right, we continue on the Trillium Gap Trail up to Lacan. Looks like we got about 3.6 miles to go with the biggest climb yet. Let's do this. You know, I've been to the Smoky Mountains, I believe this is my eighth time. First time was 1995, and then a couple more times over the next decade. And then there was a spurt there for over about five years. But of all the hiking I've done here, in the seven previous times, I've never gone to the top of Lacant. Gone up to Alum Cave with the family. That's as far as we made it. So I'm pretty excited to be doing this hike today, especially in the fall with all the colors and not another soul out here on the trail. So I finally ran into some other people on the trail, a group of about 13 that were all coming down from Lacan. They hiked up this trail yesterday, spent the night at the lodge, we're on the way down. Really nice group. Funniest one was a girl that couldn't have been more than six years old. And she winks at me and says, you're almost there. <laughs> I was like, you go girl, <laughs> rocking these trails. Ah, good stuff. That's one thing I love about hiking is the people you meet on the trail, you all have something in common, you all get along, and in the state of the world today, that's kind of unique. I think that little girl lied to me about almost being up there. One solid chunk of quartz. Here's where you refill your water, Lacant. Just make sure you filter it. Looks like we have arrived at the Lacant. Lodge.
Well, I spent about two and a half hours up here exploring Mount Lacant, checking out some of the uh, overlooks and just soaking in the views. And uh, didn't really uh, plan on spending that much time up here. So I'm on my way down now. I'm on the Rainbow Falls Trail. Um, I complete my loop. It's going to be somewhere around eight miles to get back to the car, maybe a little more than that. Guessing this rocky spur trail doesn't get a whole lot of use. It's very grown over. But worth a little side trip. Finally starting to see some evidence from the uh, fire last year. Fire's exposed quite a bit. I think I've finally reached a section of the trail that it looks like they're slowly working on. You can see they removed a lot of rocks out of the trail and tossed them off to the side. That seems to be the biggest problem, in my opinion, with the Rainbow Falls Trail. It is extremely brutally rugged with all the rocks. My knees are killing me right now. I hate to admit it, but this downward route on this rough trail has really done a number on my knees. Not something I'm used to. Here's some steps that they've done. I made it to the end of Rainbow Falls Trail, but I didn't park at that trailhead. I'm parked at the Trillium Gap trailhead. So, we got about two more miles to go.
Well, folks, this adventure is about to end the same way it started, in the dark. Started this morning a little after 7 a.m. and it is now a quarter till 7 p.m. So, there's a full day, a little more than I anticipated, frankly. Now, let me give you the stats according to my phone. 51,308 steps. They rate it at 22.4 miles. I think I figured out on the maps they have here, it was probably closer to 17 or 18, but still, whew, I've never done that much in a single day, and my feet and my knees are telling me about it. But, pretty cool otherwise. Great adventure. I'm wore out. So, till next time, Cliff Willer out. Peace.